Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PWE, the Pro Wrestling Experience for Friday, July 22nd. We're here for one reason. We're here because it's a historic day in pro wrestling. It's a historic day. It's a, it's going to be a holiday. It's a day that most of us that has been watching wrestling for over 20, 25 years, it's a day that we've never thought we'd, we'd see come. Um, but it's not. This is not the type of video that you think it is. It's not. This is not a video where I'm going to sit here and bash Vinnie Mac and say that yeah, he he needed to retire because X Y Z. Yeah, he did need to retire, but not not for the reasons the media is um not for the reasons the media is saying. Vinny Matt needed to retire because of the way the shows are, you know, portrayed, the booking, you know, the talent that, the talents that, that, that has been underutilized, you know, things like that. The book, booking, number one, because booking has been horrible for years, and we all know that, you know, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for certain acts and certain talents, this product would be completely unwatchable, you know, and, um, but despite what I just said, I'm not really here to kill, to kill Vinny Mac. I know that, you know, he's a older, he's, he's older. He's not the same Vince McMahon that gave us all the memories growing up, but I, you know, I am thankful. We should all be thankful for, for Vince McMahon because obviously, We've had there was this this wrestling people people think that it started with maybe NWA. It, it was wrestling before that, you know. There was wrestling in the mid south and the Midwest and you know Arkansas and and South Dakota. There was wrestling all over the place, you know. But Vince McMahon really took WWE by the horns and put it on the map. You know there was there was like I said. NWA, WCW, they weren't getting any, they weren't getting any real, um, shine on TV, maybe once a week, nobody know, know, knew who, who they were, you know, Vince took WWE, and he made stars, and he turned it into what it is today, and now we have pro wrestling every day of the week, we have pro wrestling every day of the week, and if it wasn't for Vinnie Matt, we wouldn't have that, and you can say what you want to say, you could, you know, not like him and try to say he didn't do this for wrestling, but he did. You can't really deny that, you know. Monday Night Raw, you know, the WrestleManias, you know, Vince McMahon being an act himself, feuding with Stone Cold. Vince McMahon with his, you know, with his, with his, the things he used to do with the women back in the Attitude Era. You know, all of that is what helped make wrestling what it is today. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I just wanted to recognize Vince, you know, say thank you. You know, and I wanted to be a voice. I wanted to be a voice of the objective. Because the reason I'm making this, 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 this video is because there's a lot of, there's a lot of pro wrestling content creators who don't give you the whole truth they don't give you the full they're not objective when they do their breakdowns you know when they when they watch raw or they watch smackdown they say it completely sucks meanwhile they're wearing an AEW shirt and an AEW hat how are you going to how are you going to give a objective breakdown about two different shows if you're wearing an AEW if you're wearing an AEW shirt and hat and everything AEW does is, is is great everything WWE does is trash it doesn't work like that you can't you can't wear the other company's uniform and it'd be objective it doesn't work like that so my point my the reason the, the reason that this video is out is because I want to be objective when it comes to you know Vinnie Mac his retiring and if I do ever make another wrestling video, it's going to be objective. What do I get out of favoring 
one company over the, uh, over the other. You, you watch something, you take what you see from it, and then you break it down objectively. It's not that hard, but there's a lot of there's a lot of pro wrestling content creators really kissing the ass of AEW, and it's it's pretty it's pretty apparent. It's pretty evident. And if I do continue to make um, pro wrestling videos, I'm gonna come for their necks because it's, it's not fair. It's not right. You can't be objective and then shitting on one company while praising the other and to be honest with you when i do watch AEW, a lot of it looks sloppy a lot of it looks comical a lot of it looks it just that's not something i really want to get into right now both companies have positives and negatives as as all companies but you can't just you know you just can't shit on one company praise the other when it's clearly Positive, positive and negatives for both. But back to Vince McMahon. There's, there's absolutely a, a, a silver lining to him retiring. You already seen it since Stephanie has taken over that things are trending the right way. Triple H coming back a few weeks ago was a big step. Him being labeled um head of talent re head of talent relations as the EVP is an amazing is an amazing giant leap back to where WWE needs to be. If you if you're a wrestling fan, WWE is close to your heart, of course. I've been watching wrestling since a little boy, you know. My first memories of wrestling is Hulk Hogan, King Kong, Bundy, Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior of course. Um, Earthquake, um, the Brooklyn Brawler, Barry Horowitz, Jake the Snake. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching wrestling for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Hogan and Zeus. I think that was WrestleMania in a cage. I believe I was really young. Like I've been watching wrestling since I could, since I since before I could even talk. So the the, the the wrestling knowledge is here and I'm telling you without without Vince McMahon you're not seeing that there is no AEW there is no Ring of Honor a lot of this stuff that you're seeing wouldn't be here so Vince deserves Vince deserves his flowers and yes obviously the reason the biggest reason that he retired is probably because of the allegations yes he got himself into some trouble and you know obviously when you do something wrong there's penalties and there's punishment and you know like i said I, we don't know all the details we we know what we hear we know what we see we know what we read you know not the end of the world not the worst thing we ever heard heard a ceo do not the worst thing a ceo has done you know, people do things all the time, just never get caught. We all know that, but um, we do owe this man a lot. If you're if you're a diehard wrestling fan, we owe this man a lot. You know, we owe him for Undertaker. We owe him for Macho Man, Hulk Hogan to a degree, because Hulk Hogan was Hulk Hogan before Vince got to him, I believe. But you know, obviously, Vince helped. Um, mold him into the, you know, into the, the, the red and yellow. Um, Stone Cold, we owe Vince for The Rock. We gotta, we always, we always read articles and then we like to shit on people. And we, we, we always forget what they did. We can't forget what this man did. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we gotta stop, take a breath and look back. He took Rock, Rocky Maivia with his stupid hair, turned it into The Rock. He took stunning. He took stunning Steve Austin, then the ringmaster, turned him into a top three wrestler of all time. Stone Cold Steve Austin. He took Mark Calloway, turned him into the Undertaker, legendary wrestler in a league of his own. That's what Vince did. So, for all the things that he's done wrong, we have to give him the flowers for all the things that he did right. And um. And uh. Like I said, today is a historic day. Vince McMahon stepping down. Stephanie's in place with Nick Khan. Triple H is back where he needs to be. This is an amazing day for pro wrestling. I'm not a pro wrestling 
content creator. If if you're new to this channel, I'm a I'm, I do I do um daily fantasy sports, but this is this is big enough. This is big enough where I had to um I had to I had to say something and put in my two cents because it's it's is that big of a deal. And WWE should be better and when WWE is better pro wrestling will be better all of pro wrestling will be better we're gonna get we're gonna get better matches we're gonna get better feuds we're gonna get um we're gonna get people that deserve to be champions champions we're gonna get better wrestling from AEW because now there's real you know there's real actual competition and not as far as you know not as far as viewership, you know, who's going to watch WWE, WWE is going to watch WWE, whoever's going to watch AEW is going to watch it, but as far as, you know, when AEW sees that the, the, the wrestlers are performing in the ring and giving quality matches, it's going to push each other to continue to, 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 um, to, to perform great in the ring now I'll, I'll tell you this AEW all their matches they do aim for five star matches they do aim for it WWE not so much WWE it appears as if they just wrestle just to get it over with that's very clear now some of the pay-per-views with WWE when you with your Seth Rollins and your your Roman Reigns and your AJ Styles and your Cody Rhodes, you're going to get, you know, four-star matches. But that's what they do. But as far as Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, these guys aren't trying, and we all know that. And hopefully that changes. We're now, you know, Stephanie and Triple H, you know, laying, laying down the law and being the, fresh, the breath of fresh air that the talent needed. Because obviously we know with Vince, Johnny Ace, and Pritchard, that a lot of talent was, wasn't happy. In this day of technology, in this day of the internet, in this day of social media, we know almost everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? We know they weren't happy. To the, today is a big stepping stone in so many ways. Vince, Vince being gone and retiring. Stephanie, Triple H, doing the right thing. And like I said, you can see that they, they started taking steps you know, doing the right thing as far as with the company. It's a, it's a historic, it's a very historic day. Um, that, that was, that was my real main reason for making this video. And I wanted to make sure Vince got his flowers. I wanted to make sure, you know, we said thank you. Focused on everything that he did do. Instead of, oh, he, he he did something wrong let's get him out of there like, you know listen people sit on their high horse and judge other people when nobody's perfect and like i said a lot of people do a lot of things they just never got get caught got caught i don't want to make this video too long but i just wanted to you know just touch base now obviously obviously if you are if you have some type of feelings towards vince uh, you wanna you wanna throw it in the comments um absolutely fine uh all i ask is no negativity not you know no no disrespect if you if you if you you know you don't agree with most of what i said that's absolutely fine no problem just you know just just be be respectful to me and the other people in the comments if you know if there's anything you don't like but like i said today is a, is a great day for pro wrestling there should be really no negativity because there is a silver lining in this and like i said vince is vince is retiring and i i appreciate everything that he did you know the childhood that he gave us the stars that he created and um i hope he finds peace you know, if he if he if he if he did something wrong and he paid for it, I hope you know that could be that he could find peace. His family could run the business. Stephanie and Triple H, Nick Khan could do what they got to do. They could give us good wrestling. They could give us good storylines. They could give us that feeling back that we used to have. You know, they could do that. 
And if they could get The Rock to come to WrestleMania next year and fight Roman, I think we all be happy. But I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it short. Now this is what I want to say. If you want me to continue making um, pro wrestling videos, let me know in the chat. Like the video, let me know in the chat, and it'll be something that I'll consider. You know, like I said, I make videos every day for fantasy sports, but if you guys want it, I'll make it. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's about it. Um, once again, uh, thank you for listening. Any comments, any memories, anything you want to say, throw it in the chat. And um, I'll see you guys later. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Ciao.